Hey everyone, we're in Elkhart, Indiana today at Secret Door Games and I could not be more excited. I have been in love with this store since before it opened. It opened two years ago. In fact, they're celebrating their second anniversary today, so you'll see some balloons when we go inside. Um, but two years ago, I was with a friend walking down Main Street and we looked in the windows here at Secret Door Games. It didn't even have their sign up yet. And we saw racks of games in the windows and one of them was Castle Panic. So I was super excited that they were already uh, getting behind Castle Panic uh, before they were even open. Um, they're really active in the community. Um, there are different like Elkhart days and things like that downtown and they get involved in that and, and bring a lot of joy and entertainment to the community. So we could not be more excited to be part of the second uh, birthday celebrations so let me take you in and uh, you know give you a quick overview of what you see in the store when you come in uh, first of all you've got these you know nice big windows that they do displays in which are just you know really beautiful and uh, you can see they, they try to really set a scene here we've got forbidden uh, desert and then you've got like this beach scene you can see Soro of the Seas so, and then um, Dixit Odyssey there. So, you know, they're really setting kind of this summer scene up front and uh, kind of selling the experience of the games there. So that's super, super cool. Um, so they have a, a sale going on today to help uh, celebrate um, uh, the second birthday and welcome us for the Smash and Burn tour. So we're uh, so excited about that. Festive balloons going on here. And then when you walk in, you can see that it's a very long store. Um, we've got some refreshments off to the side, and then you can see we're all set up here, ready to go. Um, we've got the promos up front with the catalogs, and then Hot Shots and Kaiju Crush set up with our banner there. And uh, you can see we've got some new games up front. And then off to the right, we've got um, comics uh, lining the wall here. And then uh, we were so excited to see when we walked in, there's um, an entire display here of all of our products. So we we're super excited about that. And um, let me see if I can get around here really quick. Um, so, you know, we've got um, uh, more product over here. So it's really cool how he has this organized. You can see these pop vinyls organized by uh, different media, different books and, and comics that are associated with pop vinyls. So that's really interesting. I haven't seen anyone treat their pop vinyls like that before. Um, and then over here you can see that uh, we've got like the family games section and uh, you know all the games that fit nicely in that category. And then these beautiful bookcases. I don't know that I have ever in my life seen bookcases this beautiful. And um, you know, some really strong sellers up here up front. And um, you can see they're all nicely facing out. So I really love it when a store is able to do that and really take advantage of the artwork and invite the consumer in into the experience of the game right with the art um, as design. So that's, that's super cool. And uh, you can see some hot sellers um, here, some new titles that were released at uh, Gen Con. So, and then we've got kind of the register area over here. And um, we've got some t-shirts and things and then um, some other games that are, um, you know, some of the more familiar titles um, that you might be familiar with. And then we also have some fun toys and uh, things in the back here. So some different, different items that you might not see everywhere else. So that's super fun. So anyway, we will be doing the interview with Dan in a little bit, um, but we could not be more excited yeah. to help celebrate second anniversary. And uh, we'll get people started in on the games and uh, show you more of the fun. I'm going to use my special ability. Nice. And I'm going to go right here. Oh, man. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you waited until I was distracted. <laughs> well, I don't want you to get that square. Exactly. You were smart. You were super smart. I may have to fight you for that, but... <laughs> uh, well, I'm planning on fighting you, so. <laughs> Oh, okay, right now? <laughs> All right, I'll put the camera down. I just had to let everyone know that I totally lost that. I could have won, but I guessed wrong. So we have the champion here in the battle, so she was able to take one of the, the scales here. And so how many do you have now? Two. Two? 
yeah. my one, one and you have one but we have no idea how many points are underneath so you know I would be still we're, yeah we're still in it so I just wanted to take a little more video we've got another raging game of kaiju crush going on here so um, they're uh, up and going and we've got another game of hot shots happening back here I thought I would try to get in on this and see what's going on I think fire break would be better for us oh, right now. Yeah. They're laying down a fire break, it looks like. Power. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and yours and are here. yours are the yeah. shovel, that's shovel and the Because that's actually his ability, so yeah, yeah it's his tile. Oh. This would be pretty good. Oh, okay. So wind either blows the way it's facing, which would mean the uh, log cabin would catch, or you're going to change the wind to be this way, which means log cabin, uh, that, and that will catch. So, decisions, decisions. That's just the wind blows based on the current uh, position of the, the wind. So, and then if he did this first, then three spaces would catch. Mm -hmm. And then in the next turn, they would blow and nothing, nothing would happen. Would happen. Everything nothing would happen. Would happen. Yeah. Assuming you don't put anything out in front of the fire, you want to make sure you're fighting the back of the fire. But doing this first, the log cabin would catch. And then on the next one, the other two would catch in. Right, yeah. Right. It's sort of six. It's it all depends on what you put out on the next turn. <laughs> That's really going to be the big so thing, right? So the only thing that, because I... So this, so yeah, the one way, this goes and the next turn it's this and this. Mm -hmm. yep. Or it's this and this. And the log cabin. Oh, all, all on then, one turn. And, and then that does nothing. Yeah. So that's another way to look at it. That would get you a bit of a break. Yeah. But he's most likely going to fight these. Right, which won't be effective because it's at the back of the fire. So. But if um, if you did this on this turn and he fought those, yeah, it won't reestablish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Tough call. Yes. Okay. Yeah, but and it's J A C O B, right? I don't want to spell it wrong forever. Oh, but yeah. Yeah. Actually, it's so okay. Let's just do just your just name. Name. Yeah, okay. my name. Oh, all right. All right. Let me let me uh, give you something fun here. All right. Yeah. I see that for.